The eMental Health Clinic is a new and innovative online tool designed and developed through a partnership between the Young and Well Cooperative Research Centre, the Brain and Mind Research Institute, and the School of Electrical and Information Engineering at the University of Sydney. The eMental Health Clinic aims to deliver best practice clinical services to young people experiencing mental health problems. By making use of current technologies, the eMental Health Clinic jumps traditional barriers and makes clinical care accessible, affordable and available to young people wherever and whenever they need it most. In turn, this puts the young person back in charge of their own health care. But what's the importance of the eMental Health Clinic and who will use it? The eMental Health Clinic is a genuine innovation to see whether we can deliver clinical services online. No matter where you are, if you could be in contact with us, can we actually provide you with the clinical services that you would otherwise receive if you came in and saw us? New technologies give us the capacity to really produce something as good as, if not better, than if you literally came in to see a health professional. In the world of mental health, particularly for young people, the great majority of young men and most young women who've got a major mental health problem never receive any care. What is so interesting about the eMental Health Clinic is that we'll be able to jump over some of those real barriers. Be accessible, be affordable, be available when you need that care and use the technologies that young people would prefer to use to make contact. They can be in control, they can get the care they need, we can respond in a completely different way and track through technology how they're doing, are they improving, what is happening. For the first time, technology gives us the opportunity to be there where we need to be at the time that young people actually need help. So how does it work? On the homepage of the eMental Health Clinic, a new user views a welcome message presented by Professor Ian Hickey. After logging in, the user then views an introductory video and goes on to complete a series of questionnaires to assess their mental and physical health. On completion of the questionnaires, the system produces a dashboard of results, which might suggest the user considers booking an online appointment to video conference with a clinician in the coming days. The dashboard of results also informs the clinician of how best to structure the 15-minute video conference. Hi Joey, welcome to the eMental Health Clinic. It's really good to meet you. I want to introduce myself. I'm Dr Meredith Gray and I'm one of the psychiatrists attached to the eMental Health Clinic. I'm going to be working with you to try and improve things. I can see you're not alone. Yeah, I'm with my girlfriend Amanda. She helped me find your online clinic and set up this video conference. So if you're okay, can we do this interview with her? Yeah. From the questionnaires you filled in earlier, I can see from your dashboard of results that you haven't been coping well over the last couple of weeks. In particular, I can see you've been experiencing some anxiety and that your mood hasn't been so good and that these feelings are now affecting your relationships. Can you tell me a little more about the anxiety you've been experiencing? What exactly has been causing you distress? Um, I really feel like a bit of a failure at the moment and that nothing I do is right or not good enough. Uh, it's making me really worry about uni and my ability to complete my degree. Um, I've been missing assignment deadlines. I even walked out of an exam last week. And your mood? Is there anything in particular that's been making you feel sad? Yeah, I don't enjoy the things I used to. I don't really want to see my mates anymore or play basketball. I just want to stay at home and watch TV or play video games. Sometimes I actually just want to cry, but I know I can't because then I'll be weak. OK. Now, Joey, I can also see from your data that you're currently experiencing some sleep problems. Is that right? Yeah, I'm always tired. It's probably because I never get to bed before midnight. I don't usually go to sleep until at least three. Um, and I find it pretty hard to get up most mornings. I don't get out of bed until after lunch, usually. So, Joey, I'd recommend you download and use the Recharge app. That should really help you with your sleep-wake cycle. It should then improve your mood and overall sense of well-being. On the right hand side of your screen, you should be able to see the Online Wellbeing Centre. The app's available through there. Ideally, I'd like you to use Recharge over the next couple of weeks and also make an appointment to video conference with me again in approximately two weeks' time. To do this, you click on the Appointments button, also on the right hand side of your screen. It's been great talking with you both, Joey and Amanda, and I hope we'll speak again soon. Bye. Bye.
To build the eMental Health Clinic, there are many software development challenges. We use approaches that are common in the industry, rapid prototyping, user testing, uh, bringing groups of users and so on to discuss what they would like to see in the clinic. Uh, we then interact and we look at the new technologies that can be used and which ones will be of most benefit to, uh, to them. Uh, we have been developing uh, a range of tools that will uh, engage young people. So we are looking at, for example, questionnaires. And we're looking for new interaction models, models that engage the people, uh, for example, a chat. So we have uh, a, a chat box rather than the long page and the person can practically talk with someone answering the questions. It's a much more interactive modality. And we also have an avatar, so the person can talk with the avatar and answer the questions as if it was uh, a person-to-person -person interaction. But we also keep, want to keep the human aspect of the, of the interaction. So we have a video conferencing system and people will be able to book themselves for an interview with a, an actual psychiatrist. Um, and we, the video conference actually will be available from multiple platforms. So it's not just your desktop, but it will, it will also be available on the iPad or a phone. And people can access these at any time and from any place and in any uh, computer platform. I suppose it's probably our most innovative project, which makes it one of our most challenging but exciting. And the reason it's so exciting is because it just has not been done before. So what we're trying to do is to take the knowledge and the expertise that sits in face-to-face -face clinics and put it into the online environment. Now the importance of that is it's not telemedicine, so it's not a Skype call. It's not um, e-based therapy, um, real-time talk. It's actually taking the knowledge and the expertise and making it relevant in an online space. So you can be a young person who's living in country South Australia and you can have access to the best therapy online with support, um, but you don't physically have to leave your hometown. You don't physically have to get in the car to go to see a clinician. And the way in which the um, clinic is set up is that it's actually structured in a way that gives you the best possible care. So you get quality care, enhanced care, and it's done around the needs of the young person themselves.